Touchscreens are ubiquitous, but their tracking latency continues to remain high, often 60 milliseconds or more. This creates a rubber banding effect that impacts precision in tasks such as drawing, and in general, breaks the realism and responsiveness of direct manipulation interfaces. In this work, we show how the addition of a micropattern surface can be used to reduce touchscreen latency. More specifically, we apply a film embossed with a 2D pattern of small bumps at a pitch of roughly 5 microns. When a finger, tangible, or stylus is translated across this pattern surface, interaction with the micro features induces a vibration with a fundamental frequency that directly encodes x and y velocities. For this reason, perfectly horizontal or vertical swipes manifest as a single dominant frequency, while 2D paths demonstrate intermodulation effects. We sample this 1D signal at 192 kHz with an average latency of around 30 milliseconds, much faster than traditional touch pipelines. We fuse this high-speed, low-latency vibroacoustic signal with conventional 2D touch data reported by smartphone touchscreens at around 60 frames per second. Using this combined data, our machine learning model can better predict touch location, reducing latency from around 96 milliseconds to just 16, with minimal loss in spatial accuracy. Behind the scenes, our system generates 375 predictions per second using the acoustic data stream. As the display only refreshes at 60 Hz, we use the oversampled predictions to further smooth the touch trajectory. The motivation for low latency touchscreens is well supported in prior work, but we nonetheless created a few sample applications to highlight the capability of our approach. For instance, here you can see a drawing application with conventional latency versus our improved latency. The same benefit holds true for swiped keyboard input. In this example desktop, the rubber banding effect seen when dragging icons and windows is significantly reduced with our TriboTouch technique. Finally, tangibles could also benefit by having accompanying graphics better locked to their position. Please see our paper for full implementation and evaluation details.